Chapter 2 Fun with Numbers Counting in tens. Let's brush up our counting skills now. Let's start off with counting in tens. So after 10, what is it? It's 20, that's right. Then after 20, it's 30, then 40, then 50, 60, and so on. So you're just skipping numbers in 10. Let's do another series starting with 160. So if we skip 10, we've got 170, skip another 10, 180, go on 190, and then we have 200, then 210, 220, and so on. Why don't we try counting in 50s now? Yeah? Okay, let's begin with 150. So after 150, skip another 50 and you got 200. Great. The next one's 250, 300, 350, and 400. Great, you're doing so good. So you see, you can count up in a jiffy while counting in 50s. It's pretty fast, huh? All right, now let's try something else. Skip counting. Here we have a cute little frog that will jump on stones according to her instructions. So as we see over here, the frog is now on the stone numbered 113. Now let's tell the frog if he can jump on every third number from 113. His first jump from 113 would go on to 116. From 116, he jumps again to 119. And jump again to 122. And jump here to the next stone, 125. Great, he's doing pretty good so far, huh? Okay, now let's try asking the frog to move on to the number 142. And now let's ask the frog to jump back on every second stone. Okay, so here you go, frog. Let's start jumping backwards, 142, backwards to 140, to 138, to 136, 134. He's a pretty good backward jumper, huh? And so on. Now, if you notice all of these, they form a number pattern. Do you see that? Okay, great. Let's do another series. We have 300, 330, and 360. So here, what do you think the jumps are? The jumps of numbers here are in 30. So after 360, let's add on another 30, and what would you get? That's right, 360 plus 30 equals 390, great. So 390 plus 30 is what? That's right, it's 420. And jump another 30, what do you get? That's right, 450, so on and so forth. Great, you guys are doing a great job so far. Well, that was fun, now let's try something else. 